Conrad Manila is a five-star hotel in Metro Manila located at the SM Mall of Asia complex just above the S. Maison Mall and was opened on June 15, 2016 and was awarded Best Hotel Development, Best Hotel Architectural Design, and Best Hotel Interior Design at the Philippine Property Awards in that same year. This hotel is recognized for its cruise ship exterior design and has 347 guest rooms, three outlet restaurants, an infinity pool, gym, spa, and executive lounge, and costs 6.5 billion pesos to build. It is owned by SM Hotels and Conventions and managed by Hilton Worldwide. The executive lounge is located on the seventh floor and can comfortably seat 50 guests and serves breakfast, all-day refreshments, snacks and canapes, and during the sunset, cocktails and a mini buffet setup while you enjoy panoramic views of the pool and Manila Bay. Access is complimentary to guests booking rooms with lounge access or if you hold a Hilton Honors Gold Diamond Elite membership. Hey everybody, I just arrived at the Executive Lounge, which is located on the seventh floor of the Conrad Hotel by invitation. And I'm here with our old friend and subscriber, Duard. Subscriber since 2013. <laughs> and we're here as well with Ron, with Hi. two N's. Hi guys. How are you guys related? Um, Ron is the um, husband of my niece, and um, he's going to go to... Uh, the States very soon. Husband of your niece, you must be quite young in your 20s, huh? Yeah, I'm going to say that. Wow, congratulations to be married so young. These days, you know, people get married 30 and above. I think I got married when I was 32 or something. So, I'm 31. So it must be a young love, true love situation, huh? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Was she your first love? Yeah, my last love. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a immaculately designed club lounge and we can't wait to share with you what's available for their uh, sunset cocktails. Oh, sunset cocktails. See you in a bit. Which is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. 5, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. guys. That's in two minutes. I can't wait. The sunset cocktail setup is ready. So look what we have over here. Vodka, rum, whiskey. Okay, we got some bubbly as well. Pinot de Pinot. this. I see some crabs. Oh, you can make paella. Fantastic. I love one. But wait, I'm gonna take video and then uh, I'll take video of you cooking the paella. Fried asubo, okay. It's a Japanese fish. Coffee machine. Sparkling water. Cuts. Nice, we got brie, sort of pickled veggies, got some pool down there, breadsticks, butter.
concerts. So assorted uh, peppers. Looks like chorizo. Um, this is longanisa. Longanisa, nice. And then this is crab. Shrimps or crab? Crab, crab meat. Oh wow. Oh, that's what I like. Some white wine. That smells lovely. Okay, thank you. fresh avocado, feta cheese, cherry tomatoes, and even uh, a la carte paella. That's fantastic, and I love the cold cut setup. Looks like you got brie cheese, salami, and pastrami, and assorted pickles that I'm already salivating. Now let me dig in first to this asojos. I think it deserves some attention since it's already been fried, not too cold. Sohos is normally the uh, fish that's used for fish tempura. Mm. Still crispy. Very well done. Tempura batter. And there's two sauces. There's a wasabi cream. And it looks like a, like a sweet and spicy sauce. Mm. That's excellent. Duart, thank you so much for inviting me over. My pleasure. I am super enjoying and I'm having a mimosa now. This is a combination of uh, sparkling wine and fruit juice. In this case, it's uh, strawberry syrup. So, cheers. Cheers again. Have you started on anything yet? Oh, um, Tell me how that paella is. Oh, let me taste the paella right now. And, um, and it's made by the... Um, uh, which call this the uh, the chef the chef over there all the it's a live cooking station yep. there it's pretty impressive mm -hmm. so i'm gonna just mix and get like each of the components over here i like it it's good um and the seafood is fresh the ingredients are fresh as well and I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah, they did a good job of that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try their salad now. So this is their uh, Greek salad. Mm. It's in a yogurt sauce. The vegetables are extremely fresh. Very nice crunch to it. Mm -hmm. But this one is awesome. This huge chunk of feta cheese. Cherry tomato. Mm. Avocado. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. I also had that and it's really good. I like found it for like the last that's, for 10 seconds. <laughs> that's amazing and I think I'll probably go back for more multiple times. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. And it's only like five, what time is it? It's only like 20 minutes since we're like, we have like six more 20 minutes to to have indulged in this um, kind of um, meals. 
Amazing. Cheers again. Cheers again. This is the iconic Manila Bay sunset from the Conrad. guys you know what it's time for dessert but before I say anything else I'm just so impressed with uh, what we had on buffet tonight uh, I really enjoyed the salads that they had the cherry tomatoes the feta cheese the fresh avocados and uh, even their paella was very decent very high quality ingredients and now moving on to dessert so that's a fruit platter strawberries grapes and then some big ticket fruits there. Dward already tried a little bit of that. Yeah, I did. The dragon fruit and the watermelon is still sweet. Is them still fresh, sweet, and palatable. And then we have here egg tart. Looks like a fudge cake and a brownie. So I try this egg tart to start. I know it's not going to be as good as Lord Stowe's Bakery, <laughs> mm. but it's not bad. Balance, reasonable level of sweetness. Tasty, nonetheless. I'm not really a fan of these cakes or uh, brownies, but uh, my favorite brownie is kind of like a uh, heated brownie with vanilla ice cream on top. Mm. Normally with these bouvets, I don't really like the cakes, but I just have to try it, get a feel for it. This one was the brownie. This was very decent. What makes a brownie nice is if it's moist. And that was definitely moist. Mm. You're right. Very sweet on the fruits. So ending it on a, on a good note, I have a mimosa. Sparkling water and whiskey to end it. So thanks for joining us for this episode. Had a great time here. Highly recommend the executive lounge here at the Conrad. It looks like Ron is trying that brownie. <laughs> what can you say, Ron? Yeah, I'm going to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you always know you were a brownie man? Well, no, this is my first time. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the first event of the IS Manila Alumni Centennial Celebration, Merienda at Vicky's. This was the beginning of a four-day reunion of alumni, teachers, and administrators at my alma mater. It was a great opportunity to catch up with old friends and meet alumni from the older batches, mostly the 1940s to 1970s, who have traveled from their native countries to give